Okay, um, my name is Sarah Stevenson. I'm a sculptor living in Montreal. I always think about um, the themes of containment and transparency, which have been present throughout all of my work. Um, I, I used to continually look at images of Roman sculpture and relics from Pompeii and because I was interested in the way that people had tried to portray things that you don't really think of in a solid form like hair and water and fire. And I have tried to portray those in a solid form. I've been to the space a few times in the past before ever thinking of putting my work here, but it's probably my ideal space for showing my work because of the height of the ceiling specifically, but also because of the quality of the space in that the ceiling and the walls are all of the same sort of roughness. And here I can put my work at a low level, which I like to do, it's to have the work sort of correspond to the viewer's body. The eye is still drawn right up to the ceiling. Here it's more like a cathedral that you almost have to look up. And so you, you get to see the whole of the work. And the other thing that I like about this space is um, the natural light that constantly making the pieces become more visible or less visible depending on whether a cloud is passing over the sun or not. My work is about the sensation and experience of inhabiting a human body and how the body relates to the outside world. I don't think that um, my work translates very well into images, uh, partly because there just is nothing to focus on, but also because I think you have to experience a work, well, not just my work, but any object in person in order that you can understand it in terms of your body and, and compare it in size and weight In, in the case of this body of work, I was thinking of the human body and different things that can happen to a body, injuries or um, potential injuries. But I started thinking about the whole concept of threat and the, the feeling of impending doom, which I suppose was partly informed by our situation these days. So by the time I came to naming the large piece, I named it um, Nimbus because it's um, cloud and thunderstorm like. But some of the other pieces, I think, refer more directly to the body, bruise and burn, things that can happen to a body. Bean is in reference to the idea of a big thing going through a small tube, so it's kind of in reference to the digestive system. Spine is, of course, a column of um, interlocking pieces. Spike is, I suppose, also in terms of uh, 
a threat to the human body in terms of being a, a piercing thing.